Hello YouTube, it is the British Fanboy here and I've got a commentary on Call of Duty Black Ops on my PlayStation 3. The PlayStation Triple, that is right. It is on a match of WMD, a team deathmatch, and I'm using the, the silenced AK-47 and I'm using the Cobra, aka the Python Pistol. It's a pretty good pistol I've discovered, never really used it before, but it packs a lot of punch and only takes two bullets to kill the enemy, so very good gun all around I say for that. Now. I'm actually pretty tired right now. I'm not mentally tired. Mentally, I'm quite awake, but physically, I'm very tired. My body is quite drained at the minute. And the reason that is is because I have been just finishing off one of the hardest projects that I've been doing in university ever. You know, this is... I mean, the last two weeks of my first year of university, and it's been fantastic. You know, my university course has been going great so far. I've learned so much, you know, I've had so many good times with friends and my lecturers and I've I've just learned so much. I've seen such a huge progression from when I started from when I left secondary school up till now. I think there is an incredible change in what I can do and stuff in my chosen field in film television production. Obviously I don't really show it in commentaries and stuff like that, but in terms of the projects I'm making and stuff, you know, I feel as if there is a huge professional leap in quality and not just picture quality or sound quality and stuff I mean like professional workflows and stuff like that you know it's such a huge difference what just going to university and studying how to make films professionally can make things so much easier you can make something very good a lot easier than you would expect not to mention that you know I've got fantastic friends everybody's really good at what they do and it going to university has just been fantastic all around but um it's just been pretty tough this week because we've been working pretty hard to meet our deadlines and stuff like that. But, you know, at the same time, we're doing something that we all love, so it's not that bad. And if any of you guys are considering going to university or going to college, if you're in the US, I'd say go for it. You know, go for it. You know, it's expensive, sure, but what you get back, or what I've got back, I can only talk from my own experience, is it's pretty awesome thus far. You know, like I feel as if I could go... Uh, I'm technically qualified to get any job in the film industry right now. Or as um, I'm technically skilled enough to apply anyway, you know. Some certain people, you know, they say you must have two years worth of experience in feature film or whatever. But, you know, technically I have the knowledge on how to work for these people. And going to university has just changed so much. And I feel so good about what I can or cannot do. Some of you may say, well, prove it, British fanboy. Well, I can't prove it, I'm afraid, right now, because this project isn't done yet, unfortunately. And, um, like, this project is going to be shown at a local cinema, and, um, that'll be in September time. And, um, we showed a teaser trailer for the project we've been working on at a cinema yesterday. It was, um, showing lots of stuff to parents and... Mainly, mainly the other students, you know, we were showing it to the other students in all the other years, you know, the years below us. And, um, you know, our teaser trailer, which is literally 20 seconds long and only one shot, it got cheers and claps and stuff. Like, uh, nothing I could have ever made would have got that before I went to university. So, you know, university, it improves your quality of work so much. That's all I can say. And um, in terms of, you know, the life, the party life and stuff like that, you're asking the wrong guy, basically, you know. I don't really care about that so much, you know. It's just like, a lot of people go to university and look forward to the nightlife. They look forward to parties and stuff like that. But I'm just not that kind of guy, you know. I don't really enjoy it. I don't really enjoy going out and getting absolutely pissed. It's just not my thing, you know. That's not my gig, you know. Wrong band and wrong gig. It's just how it works. Whilst I do enjoy having a drink and stuff, I like sitting down in a pub having a pint, not dancing all night, taking shots and stuff, you know, that that's not my thing. Whilst there is a lot of fun to have doing stuff like that, and yes, you do do it occasionally, it's not something that I particularly enjoy doing the most. It's I wouldn't say go to university purely if you want to do that, because um, it's just not going to work out, I don't think, you know. So there are some people, one in particular, who applied for my course thinking they were going to get the giant university life and stuff, you know, the parties and you know, the pranks and stuff, but it just didn't happen. You know, it just, nobody was interested. And it was kind of a huge letdown for that person in a way. He's pretty shit anyway. But, um, yeah, that's just how it works. You know, sometimes you get courses which you do get that kind of thing, but not on my course. No, 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 no. A lot of us just, 
enjoy sitting down on comfy chairs, basically. Like, whenever it's someone's birthday, you know, what do a lot of people our age do, you know, 19 upwards or so, they normally go get absolutely trashed or whatever. We don't do that. We <laughs> we went to Nando's and had lots of chicken and went to the cinema. You know, that was our cinema. That was our birthday treat, and we loved it. All right. I'm going to do some more talk about the game now and stuff like that and what I've been doing with games and stuff. But university, go for it if you're unsure, people. Like I said, I was playing this game on the PlayStation 3, and that's because it turns out I'm starting to pretty much suck at the PC version of Black Ops, you know. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm just not used to the keyboard and mouse on the... You know, I just need more practice with it, but I'm so much better on the PS3 version, I've discovered. And, um... I actually bought an Xbox 360 controller to use with my PC. I know I could get a PS3 one or whatever, but I really couldn't be bothered to get a Bluetooth adapter or whatever. I'd rather just go down to town and get, pick up a 360 controller. A lot easier. But I think it's just a keyboard and mouse, you know, I'm not used to it because there's like, there's no auto aim and stuff. And rightly so, there shouldn't be. There shouldn't be on the PC version. But I just need a lot more practice with it on the PC version. And, um,. I've actually, actually only got three games on PS3 now, you know, I've only got, I've got Black Ops, Mortal Kombat and Infamous 2, and I've got Black Ops on PC, it's pretty strange, but um, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know why that is, you know, I think I am starting to enjoy my PC a lot more, you know, I think, really do think I am enjoying it a lot more, you know, also recording's easier on the PC, you know, all i got to do is open Fraps, start the game up and then press F6 or whatever button I want, to, just to get the recording going, and you know, that made things so much easier, you know, normally. You have to go into your park and you have to tweak settings, plug cables in, stuff like that, you know. Not that it's a chore or anything, but it's just a lot, a lot quicker on the PC, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I've had some requests for PC stuff. I think someone commented on my profile earlier today, I don't remember your name, mate, saying that, will I be bringing a Team Fortress 2? I do have Team Fortress 2. I downloaded it quite a while ago, but I haven't actually played it. I have not played Team Fortress 2 yet. It just doesn't work for some reason, you know. I go into Steam, I double-click it. And then just nothing happens. I don't know, maybe we've got to defragment the cache or something like that, you know. It'll, I'm sure it'll be an easy fix, I just haven't tried to fix it yet. And, um... Oh yeah, would you guys be interested in seeing some Duke Nukem footage? Because, quite frankly, the game's pretty shit. Yeah, you know, like, I uploaded that first ten minutes, and the first ten minutes, first half an hour of the game, is awesome. You know, it's brilliant fun, you know, a lot of fun to watch and stuff. But the actual game... It, it gets pretty shit after a while. I wouldn't recommend it. Definitely rent it, but do not buy Duke Nukem Forever, basically. Alright, so that's the end of the game. Tell me, what would you guys like to see and stuff? Are you going to university, or are you in university? Did you go to university? Tell me what you like and stuff. And um, also, I'm going to change my rules of dual comms now. I said you have to be over 500. Fuck that. You want a dual comm, give me a message, and if I've got time, you know, I've got, I'm not doing anything at that minute, then we'll get a dual comm going. Alright? See you around. British fanboy out. Peace, bitches.